First though, it is the final leg of a jam-packed day along the Space Coast. Two missions, just hours and a launch pad apart. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. I'm Julie Broughton in for Lisa Bell today. The historic day kicked off about 12 hours ago with United Launch Alliance. In about an hour, SpaceX will follow suit, launching its Falcon 9. News 6's James Barbero is covering it all for us live from the Space Coast. Matt and Julie, Space Florida tells us the Space Coast has not seen a launch day this busy in 55 years. And even a third launch happening Thursday in Texas had a Central Florida connection. And liftoff. America's third rocket launch in one day will be the second today in Cape Canaveral, and all three have a connection to the Space Coast. Employees and friends at Pineapples cheering on Steve Young as the restaurant owner rockets to zero gravity with Blue Origin. This morning's launch in Texas is the sixth human space flight for Jeff Bezos' company. The view, I think that's what I'm looking forward to the most. And we interviewed Young earlier this summer when he announced he bought his ticket. Steve said he wasn't allowed to discuss the price. I like to brag and say I did something that nobody else did or very few people have done and now I get to share it to the world. I'm getting the attention and I appreciate it. Young's flight followed a United Launch Alliance liftoff. The smoke now cleared. A SpaceX rocket is scheduled for liftoff next. Space Florida says it would be the first time since 1967 two rockets launched from the Space Coast on the same day. Assuming the SpaceX flight gets off, there will have been 34 launches so far this year. That's a new record. So every launch after today is a new record for the total number of flights in a year. SpaceX behind most of those launches, and tonight SpaceX is launching South Korea's first mission to the moon, a satellite going into lunar orbit. Liftoff is scheduled for 7.08, and Matt and Julie, our live coverage continues at the top of the 7 o'clock hour. We'll see you then. Live at the Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.